welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a stay at home mom morning routine. I've been requested this a few times so I thought I would finally do it. Um, I normally wake up between 6 and 7. Usually my kids are up between 6 and 6.30 every day and I kind of try my best to just lay in bed for an extra few minutes because mom is tired in the morning. But usually they're always in my room. Um, if Cameron's up before me or if Cameron goes to work, he'll usually put the TV on for the kids in the living room so that I can get an extra few minutes. But it's usually always fighting in the morning, so I usually have to get out of bed pretty quick. First thing I do too is let the dogs out. They do sleep in the closet. Um, we keep the closet door open obviously, but we have it caged in with their beds and stuff and it's just, it makes it easier for the dogs. Um, Jackson snores so loud at night. I just can't stand him in my room anymore because of how much he snores. So we do let them sleep in there and besides if we don't, they'll just sleep on the couches and stuff and I just don't want that. So I'm just gonna let them out and go potty. We do have a designated potty area on the side of the house that we built in, so that's really nice too. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the lights in the front of the house. If I don't do this right in the morning, I forget about it and then I get upset that my lights are still on at two o'clock in the afternoon and wasting my electricity. So I try to turn that off first thing in the morning. Um, usually one of the kids is always having a meltdown, so gotta give them some love. And then we make coffee. Coffee is just so important when you're a mom, like you need that fuel in order to survive the day. If I don't get my coffee within the first 30 minutes of when I wake up, I am pretty miserable. Usually while I'm making my coffee, the boys give me their bottles because they want milk. So I will make them their milk. Um, this morning, Landon didn't want a sippy cup. He wanted a cup of milk with a straw because he's a big boy apparently. So yeah, I usually give them milk first thing in the morning while I make my coffee. Um, and then usually I ask them what they want for breakfast. Breakfast usually varies. I always let them pick out, or at least I let Lana pick out since Asher doesn't really know how to tell me what he wants for breakfast. He usually just always brings me some kind of snack in the morning. Um, this morning, Lana said he wanted cereal. And so that is what I let them have this morning. They don't have cereal every day, so don't come at me. Usually when I give the kids their breakfast, I will go ahead and let the dogs in. Usually they are at the door crying to come in because they are the biggest babies I've ever met in my life. Usually I try to take my coffee and do something for myself, so I will usually sit on the couch and watch a quick YouTube video or just something to enjoy while drinking my coffee. After my morning coffee, I just try to go ahead and get myself ready a little bit. And usually what that means most days is just brush my hair, brush my teeth, wash my face, and throw out some skincare. Outfit change into some comfy clothes, which usually entails some kind of shirt and leggings. I either wear leggings or biker shorts, depending if I'm going to stay home or go out. I will link everything that I used below. I already washed my face, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use my eye cream, some lotion, and then I use this tinted moisturizer, and I'm just filling in my eyebrows a little bit. They are a little lighter than I like, just because I do need to get them tinted again, but since I'm microblading my eyebrows actually next month, I don't wanna dye them anymore this month. So yeah, I'm just throwing a little bit of powder and gel into my eyebrows too, just so I don't look completely dead.
Does anyone's husband always leave their crap on the counters every morning? Every morning, I swear, I put his stuff back every single day. Today, I was lucky enough to find his little shavings from his razor on the counter, so I have to go ahead and clean that. But first, I'm gonna get the boys started on brushing their teeth. They love to brush their teeth. I swear, they wanna brush their teeth all day long. I usually try to like to give them their independence of learning to brush their own teeth really well. And then since they're still both little, I go ahead and help them each brush their teeth just a little bit better. Usually by this time it's about 8 o'clock and I will go ahead and make my bed. I swear every time I make my bed, every single morning as I make my bed, my kids love to jump on my bed and destroy it. Every single morning without fail. Then go ahead and get the boys ready. Landon's big enough where he'll actually just go ahead and get himself dressed every morning. And then I will do their hair and then now Landon wants to do his own hair too. Um, but yeah, I will go ahead and get them ready for the day. Um, even though we're home, I still like them to get ready and have a routine. Now for laundry. I swear I do a load of laundry at least every day. Doing at least one load every day just helps me kind of keep on top of the laundry. And I'm so excited because Orange House actually gifted me this laundry detergent to test out for you guys. And I've actually been using this um, for about a week now. And let me just say, I'm obsessed. It smells absolutely delicious. It is made up of 100% cold pressed orange oil and plant-based ingredients. What's great about this laundry detergent too is that it's 0% dyes, artificial brighteners, synthetic scents and phosphates, and fragrances. So it's definitely better for you than your normal detergent. You can actually now purchase the Orange House detergent right through Amazon. I'll actually leave a link down below in case you guys are curious on reading up more on it or purchasing it for yourself. I have some bananas that are going bad, so I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly make some banana bread. I've made this recipe so many times, I feel like, on my channel, so I'm just gonna go quickly make this. I'll try to remember to leave the recipe link down below, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and make this. And then my kids wanted a banana, so I'm giving them a newer banana that I just bought, and they're gonna have that as I make this banana bread. As I try to clean up the mess from making banana bread, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and set the kids up with some coloring pages and some crayons so that they can color. Landon was so excited. Whenever he sees the camera, all he wants to do is talk to the camera and show the camera everything. <laughs> Yeah, so this is my little trick. Whenever I need to get some cleaning done, I just go ahead and set them up with some crayons and gives them a little bit of an activity. So once I tidy up the kitchen, I just go ahead and I'm just going back into the bathroom. I usually do this almost every day. I just give it a quick wipe down. Um, I do clean my bathroom probably just like once a week, sometimes twice a week, just depending. Um, but I do like to give my counters and my mirror a wipe down almost every day. My master bathroom just gets so gross every day just because we do use this pretty often. Between Cameron shaving and my kids with their toothpaste stains everywhere, um, I do have to give it a quick wipe down almost every day. The boys wanted to help me, so I'm just letting them clean the full-length mirror that they tend to put their little fingerprints on every day. Um, so yeah, I just give it a quick wipe down almost every day, and that's my morning routine. That's what I do almost every morning. Um, and yeah, I, nothing glorious. It's a stay-at-home mom. What else am I supposed to do except for clean and cook, I guess, uh, and do laundry. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything else.